Hello, my makeup loving friends. We're back again in the same makeup because, you know, we did a thing and we've, we've filmed two in one go because we are productive members of society. It's a whole thing. Anyways, you know what the story is. It's me, it's Teresa. It's my channel, obviously, because you've clicked on it, so it, my name is on it. It's a whole thing. And with me, beautiful, glorious, radiant, magnificent, unicorn, because I'm making that be an adjective now, Gaia. She's wonderful, she's fabulous, and I annoy her with my presence on an almost daily basis. Uh, that is nonsense. You could never. Because you are the same. Actually, no, I don't want to say you are me in this context because I annoy myself all the time. I do really annoy myself repeatedly. So I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Anyways, look, we're already getting off track. Lads, what's happening? Right. If you've looked at the thumbnail, which really appreciate it, it takes me a bit of time to do. This is shitty reviews or reviews of shit so basically it's where we look at products um and their reviews and determine hmm are these actually rubbish products or are the people reviewing them maybe not the best of writing reviews who knows you decide we decide it's it's a beautiful collaborative effort so we've lots of ones you know all the way from like amazon feel unique cult beauty you know the general drill there's some interesting ones so we're going to get straight on into it the first one we have is wet and wild and this is their mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals and this was taken from the beauty bay website by susu d min put down too pink, not pigmented. I had to abuse the pan to get some pigment. Very chunky, just a very bad look overall. If you're a pale girl, then it's not a good color. Too pink, not silver. And then Emmy, which is by the way, my eldest cat's name. Emmy, have you been buying makeup and not telling me? You naughty girl. She gave it two stars and said, gave me a rash. Bought this highlighter, has heard and seen many good things about it. It looked good for the price. However, after just one time using it, I had a rash on my face that lasted a while. I've never had a reaction to any makeup before and I've tried a lot. I'm going to say I don't like the use of the word abuse in that kind of like, ah, 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 it's not like we've seen a massive increase in instances of domestic violence in the last two years. Ah! No. Stop it. And I will say, because Beauty Bay like, dates these, and that was put down three years ago, so I, I know that we can do that whole thing of, oh, it was a different time, it was a different place. It's oh, not a different time. It's, it's, three years. it's not, like, I get... You know, like, maybe if it was like, oh, I had to, like, get in there with a pickaxe and mine out the pickaxe. Like, fine, like, dramatic, like, you know, a bit of, you know, artistic flair, a bit of, you know, a license to, you know, just sort of embellish on things, fine. But come on, like, do better than that. Oh, it just, it gives me kind of the ache, and it does worry me that that's probably somebody's sense of humour, and they're like, ah, 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 Because there's a difference between dark humour and just straight up not okay like I have a dark sense of humor there are certain things you don't joke about and that is one of them yeah it just hit me the wrong way like oh, which sorry not ah. not didn't mean that weird pun but you, oh, <laughs> oh, oh no that wasn't deliberate don't cancel I know it wasn't no, but what I mean to say is it just doesn't sit with me right. I just, and don't get me wrong, I'm the sort of person that will screw up turns of phrase on a daily basis, you know? But with things like reviews, where you have time to write, look at it and think about it. And it's not like once you've posted it that you can't ever go back and edit. You can go back and edit and you can even delete. So I'm just like, oh. Yeah, so there's like a few stages here. There's like, planning this actually writing it and then also like leaving it there like you've had opportunity to reconsider this and I personally would be embarrassed to have this under my username and I'd be I wouldn't be writing it in the first place I'm like I'm not neither of us are trying to say we're perfect everyone makes mistakes but yeah, that there was no need. There was a lot of other choices of words that you could have used, as Teresa said, like the little pickaxe, like we had with the, I think it was brow gel or whatever, back in like yeah. episode one. If you haven't watched it, okay. um, 
but yeah and also I love about the rash one that they still gave it two stars I'm like what would they have to have done for one star like burnt some of your face off maybe I don't know yeah like just post that against the people who are going oh my god it's the best foundation ever one star one star <laughs> like this part this thing has actually caused a physical irritation and has physiologically harmed me two stars so this is another one from wet and wild the large eyeshadow brush gg says yep gives it five stars have not tried it yet but here we are ha 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 ja 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 ha ha are you okay hon right there's this there's this TikToker that I watch sometimes and I quite enjoy her. And um, she talks about, you know, like Bumble and like she, people send her on things and, and their snapshots of people's profiles usually say like horrible things, you know, like, oh, you know, won't date fat chicks, yeah. <laughs> hashtag standards. And, uh, you know, you're like, oh, God. But there's a thing that comes up on Bumbles and it's like, it's a prompt of like, oh, if I only had three things that I could eat for the rest of my life they would be xyz and then so many people will choose that and then kind of be like lol can't choose lol and she just it just the camera zooms in on her and she's like then choose a different prompt don't put that on your profile like this is meant to give more information just choose a different prompt and this is I'm getting similar energy from myself on this that I'm like you haven't tried it yet. You do not have to review it. Like literally, you don't, you do not have to review this. By the way, wet and wild eyeshadow brushes, they're really quite crap in my opinion. Yeah. I don't hear much great about them. And this is, I mean, we talked before about, you know, somebody giving a one star when they loved it and it drags down the rating. But this is just, as this is just as bad. Like people could put their hard-earned cash towards buying something and then end up with a piece of CRAP. And then the ha 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 like what? Like this just reads like a 16-year-old. Or like, you know, when like a kid gets on their like parents' phone or something and they're like, ha ha trolled you. It's like that's not trolling. No, it's just a bit odd. Pardon. You've wasted our time. Yeah, you did. That's what you've done. You wasted the people's time. And much like the person who was reviewing the Bare Minerals primer, I'm a very busy woman and I didn't have time to return. Wet and Wild again, and we have their Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche, Marine BGDO, six days ago. So this is a very recent one. You know, cutting edge. We are on the cusp. It says, okay, and gives it four stars. I don't think you know like I'm just getting that whole thing of like keep using that word but I do not think it means what you think it means sort of vibe she says not bad not great it does the job but probably won't buy again then don't give it four stars don't I'd say that's like a two or three like yeah. right whereas then we see other reviews there which is like Leahy is saying like I bought it for the dark shade as a first contour and ended up falling in love with the light one I wish someone told me how epic powder concealer are before great price even though the dark shade doesn't last too long which I'm kind of like longevity would be quite important in a makeup thing so it feels like you giving it that five stars is a bit generous and I'm wondering if people are ranking these things as better than they are because of the price I would probably I would maybe assume so and also I'm not passing judgment this is just an observation that the way that they've written it and some of the things that they've said makes me think that they're because I mean, I mean, even in the thing they said they bought it as a first contour. I think that they're not maybe the most experienced or like um, maybe they haven't gotten into makeup like much before this because it's like this isn't a powder concealer; it's a peach highlighter and a and a like bronzing powder. Although um, I will say I am all for like versatility. Of yeah, a hundred percent. But it's just like, I don't think powder concealer is a thing, though, is it? No, I don't. Powder is obviously like powder foundation and powder coverage, but I've never heard of powder. Like maybe maybe they don't have much to compare it to, especially because they said it as a first contour. So maybe it's like they don't have anything to compare it to. So they're like, yeah, this is the best thing ever. Like, and also maybe it's like, oh, I don't have anything to compare it to in terms of how long it lasts. That's what I'm maybe thinking. Yeah, both seem like very generous reviews mm. of 
considered. Next we have Viseart 04 Dark Matte Eyeshadow Palette. SK78 says, thanks for cancelling my order. Hmm, some nerve asking for a review when you cancelled my order for no reason. I found this palette on sale, ordered, they took my money and then they cancelled my order and took their sweet time giving me my money back. Then I get an email asking for a review. Well, the one star is for your poor service. And then, complete opposite, Evdokia says, the best eyeshadow palette. It's the best eyeshadow palette I've ever tried better than Jeffree Star, Anastasia, or Too Faced, and many more. If you have the money, wait for a discount and get it. See, and they would do five stars because that's how it works. I mean, Viseart is a pro brand. It, it is. There's so many people who tell me it's like they're ride or die. I mean, I look at that palette and I, I do quite like it. There's that grungy sort of a thing. Especially to it. the Viseart. Like, I don't usually see anything from them that I'm like, ooh. And, but you'd want that for 77 no, 78 euros. Yeah, you'd want it to be perfection. Yeah. Perfection. Look, I will say, as somebody who has been burned by Beauty Bay on many occasions, like, the amount of time, like, I just keep going back to them. And the reason why I go back to them is because of their own brand. Their yes. own brand stuff is actually really, really good and really affordable. But they are an absolutely a appalling customer service like there is no and let's not even talk about their bloody tried points which are so stupid and i can't they need to give you points on sale items i don't care if they're on sale they should still give you them they should give you the sale sale price points i'm not saying give them full price points but the sale price points that's ridiculous thank you and you also can't use your tried points with a discount code It's so stupid. It's so stupid. So I get, I get the frustration with five thousand percent, and it's happened to me before. That um, I think was it the Utopia. Utopia. Thing? Yeah. I ordered it, and then they cancelled it, and they're like, "Ah, I'm very, very." Next day unhelpful. delivery was not next day delivery. Yeah, and they were very unhelpful. And anyways, I was out with money for a while, but whatever. That's the whole thing. But I didn't go and leave a review of. Yeah. like it was just it, it, it's it's an odd thing to kind of have a moan about it there and it's very deliberate like it's well the one stars for your small service it's very vindictive it's like yes okay it's annoying that they've asked you to review but that's an automated system so but then don't turn around and be like haha well I'm gonna leave this thing because I'm gonna be spiteful like it's a bit childish if I'm being yeah. honest like, yeah, annoying. If, more, if more impacts busy are than it does Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay has so many brands. It's not just Busy Art that's on their site. Beauty Bay are going to do, like, I, sorry to sound harsh, this doesn't mean you shouldn't complain about, about things if you're not happy with them. But Beauty Bay are going to be doing just fine, regardless. But Busy Art is one of those brands that they're not, you don't really talk about them or hear about them much anymore. So, you know, like, you're affecting the brand. You're not yeah. affecting... Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay is rolling in it, quite frankly. Then we have Unicorn Cosmetics and their 3D Mink Lashes. Oh yeah. Not, not faux mink. Mink Lashes in Peachy Pie. Sorry, let me just check something. It is the year 2021. Yeah. And we talked in our last episode about how we couldn't understand why anyone was going near Mink Lashes in today's modern era. We have a light bulb. We have the internet. We can use synthetic fibers to make the lash products. And we're like, how? How? Why is anyone doing it? Is it possibly that they're better? Which, by the way, I don't care how much better they are. I don't want to put some, like, some, I don't want that on my eyelids. It's gross and it's weird and it's creepy. But there are some interesting reviews here because Alice2001 put down, these lashes are so bad, they just fall apart the first time you wear them. Don't buy them. Ones from Poundland or Primark are better than these. Then Ain Slicks, don't know how to pronounce that, Put down two stars. Not good. Fall apart before I got to wear them. After one use, they became thin and fell apart. Feels like two stars is too generous for that, my love. Two stars. Wouldn't purchase again. Not durable. The lashes get very messy very easily. Again, I think that's an over generous um, star rating there. I don't don't get it. Why are people using mink lashes? Sorry to tell you all, but if you buy these lashes, you deserve them to not work. I said it. 
Uh, like, you know what else is probably falling apart? The friggin' minks that are in captivity. Well, like, if nothing else, the stress that they endure as part of, we can't even call it their life, their existence of yeah, their existence. farmed. No. No, well, thank you. Um, and Unicorn Cosmetics, if you're watching this, I will not buy anything off you until you stop making mink plashes. I'm so disappointed. I'm genuinely really disappointed. And the fact that, like, again, these are, I pulled these recently. So these are still being stocked. They are still yeah, on they've the got, um, Still got quite a few lashes and have made, I think they're starting to make ones that are synthetic, but they've still got their ones and are producing them that are not. So I'm like, why? If you've got the alternative, why? There's no way that, like, I mean, I don't know whether it comes down to cost or whatever, but even then, like, surely, like, I'm sure people wouldn't, I think people are a lot more aware of and unwilling to buy mink than they are about other things. So, you know, if your customer base is bearing more towards, you know, everybody's going to be, everyone's going to be fine using synthetic lashes. If you've only got a small proportion that are okay using mink lashes. They'll cope. Yeah. Just stop it. So this is the Soda Hashtag Mermaid Lips Lip Crystal. This is sounding very Charlotte Tilbury. Mm. Jocelyn G says, The smell, it is not very appealing, but it looks nice and nice packaging too. I will use it for a day-to-day -day or going to the gym, stuff like that. Annie says, A big no. Awful taste. Smells like it's expired. Really upset. And then by Alex says, Taste disgusting. Does glide on effortlessly, but then the taste hits you. No coconut scent and a very artificial taste. Had to wash it off. Quality and value good if it didn't taste so bad i understand that what they mean is they're wearing it on their lips and then by by you know by kind of default it, it's then you know you're ingesting a tiny amount but it does make it sound like they're standing there and just going Hah. something on a lip balm exactly. <laughs> like and again i'm like yeah okay i know like obviously just by virtue like any lip product that you have you end up ingesting a certain amount of it unfortunately mm. that, that's the reality of it but it's funny because I remember when this brand came to Beauty Bay a couple of months ago, everyone was like, huh? Who are you? What are you? I was like, I never heard of them. I hadn't either. I think some of the liquid eyeshadows looks quite look quite cool. Um, they look like kind of like Steeler Dupes kind of thing. But I was kind of like, sorry, who? It's like when that other brand, Jason Wu, was it? I'd never heard of that either. Like, I get it, like bring brands to us and everything, but like, it's weird not to ever have heard of them before. Yeah. It, yeah, it was such an obscure thing. This does feel, though, like the sort of product that's very, like, TikTok, like, mermaid lips. Mm. Well, it feels very, like, dated, because mermaid stuff was, like, what, four or five years ago, something like yeah, that? Yeah, it was, like, iHeart Revolution released, like, a few years ago kind of thing. Like, like I get it. It's, like, a cutesy kind of kid. I know what it is. It's, like, you know, those Lely Kelly shoes. Yeah. It's something you'd find in the heel of one of those. For spy game. I don't know why, but like you need a lip balm and a spy game. Does it's it's parching work and you don't want your lips to get dry because then you're trying to, you know, say who the murderer is and then you're like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Yeah. I mean it's not something that I think either of us would bother getting. Do you know what? It gives me sort of vibes of Winky Locks. Yeah. Except Winky Locks, like, I think I would be tempted to get one just because I love the, like, flower inside the thing. And then I'd never use it. Then another thing from Beauty Bay. This is Fudge Professional Cool Brunette Shampoo. On average, it has a one and a half star rating and it is on sale. Megan gave it one star and said, made it worse. Used this on my hair and it just seemed to make it lighter and more ginger. Did not get rid of any red or orange tones, just seemed to add to them instead. And then Miss H also gave it one star with the caption, Stains hair blue. And then very helpfully underneath says, Stains hair blue, do not buy. What a waste of money. I mean, you don't really need to repeat yourself, but I guess she really, really felt that. And then Jess LL23 put down, Don't waste your money, one star. This product stained 
my scalp bright blue, which took about two washes to get off and it made bits of my hair green. I didn't see any pros using this shampoo. Very disappointed. Sophie had put down, this stuff is terrible. Don't buy. Doesn't stain as badly as I've read on some reviews, but it will ruin your hair. Took me from brunette to ginger. Never had this happen with a product before. Don't buy. Then Alicia put down one star. Awful, 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 awful. Turned my hands blue, dyed my scalp blue and gave my hair a weird orange tint. And then Sean, 24, put down poor product and poor service. Extremely dissatisfied with my order. Ordered next day delivery at a hefty price thinking this would be a miraculous product. Not only did it not arrive the next day, but a week later. Oh, I feel you, buddy. I feel you. And when it did arrive, the product was no bigger than the palm of my hand. Felt extremely frustrated as the Beauty Bay website makes it difficult to complain. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Anyway, I was finally able to use the product and my dissatisfaction didn't end. My hands were stained blue, especially my fingernails for a few days after use, which was extremely embarrassing and also didn't notice a slight difference to my hair either. Complete waste of time. Do not buy this product, especially from Beauty Bay. And finally, Kerry also gives it one star, says disappointing. Didn't do a thing for my hair, but tinted my scalp, hands and nails blue. Luckily, I only got a small bottle, but won't be using again. Was really disappointed as their purple shampoo is great. Oh my God. I don't know what's gone wrong here, but I mean, to begin with, I was thinking, is this like a purple shampoo, like designed to take out the brassiness of the like, hair after you bleach it? Sometimes that's that's what happens. I have no explanation for this. It's bizarre. It's very odd, isn't it? And I have no idea what's going on here. And like, if this was like a one-off, like one person said this, I'd be like, okay, well, maybe this is a like read the instructions type thing. But we've like essentially six people saying the exact same thing. Yeah. And like loads of people have said that it's like helpful. So clearly maybe other people have gone and looked elsewhere or they've also agreed with it or whatever. So, you know, I mean, this thing has got, you know, consistently bad reviews and consistently, you know, it, it should be called, called blue shampoo, apparently, but it doesn't even dye your hair. It's just... Dyes your scalp and fingernails, apparently. Just in my, it's just making me think of like paint or something. Yeah, that's the sort of vibe that I'm getting from it as well. Like, I don't... I mean, it's it's in the sale outfit section now, a beauty base, and maybe they're trying to get rid of it. Yep, probably. This is Sigma Beauty Sig Magic Scrub. So we've got, <laughs> I hate this product, says, absolutely a waste of money. This is so bad. I can't believe I spent 20 quid on this. Broke the minute I took it out of out my packaging and it stained my brushes pink and none of the makeup came out my brushes. Me want a refund and a lot of exclamation marks. I just really like that it ended with me want a refund. Me want a refund and all of the exclamation marks. I like that I hate this product. They, they I imagine them creating an account specifically for this. I hope they did. I really do. That's dedication right there. Cool. Like that, I'm like, that That product really annoyed you, man. Like you, you had to go and like make this be part of your identity. They've changed their bank cards. They've changed their IDs. They've you know, changed their name by default. I mean, I mean, it is really difficult though having your degrees changed, you know, via name. But that's like, why I haven't changed the spelling of my name is because my degree is in my actual like. And now I'm like, I can never change it. Yeah, I just like the whole uh, me want refund. Me want a refund. I'm now going to end all of my sentences with me want, and then whatever it is that I want. I'm for it. I'm not against it. Um, me want world domination. <gasps> Me want gender equality. Me, me want, uh, me want neuro, neurodiversity uh, awareness. And acceptance. Yes. Then we have Sample Beauty's Infinity in One Beauty Gel. Emily, a year ago, put down not great on the face, but great on the eyes. She said, as a primer, I really don't like this product. It's sticky, but slippery at the same time and makes my foundation look gross. I will say, however, that it is great for making your own eyeliner. Mix it with some crushed eyeshadow as the consistency is like a thick gel. Two stars. This is very much the definition of make it work make it work yeah like repurpose it i respect that you know like yeah. particularly if you're if you just don't have the money to be going off and be like oh i'm gonna go and replace this product because it didn't work for me i get that like i've yeah i've been there i will use a product 
to death like and I have done that in the past particularly when I wasn't as like financially solvent as I am now but I totally respect that they're like okay I I had to figure out a way that I would make this work but I I almost I I almost see in my mind's eye that they have like this uh like big like blackboard and like lots of like different like, no that's not no it did not work and it's like all these like it's like it's like um, keep trying until you you get you get an answer and they've like it's like it's like a uh, a time lapse of like them like like in their lab like in a film or something like just experimenting and, and, and like and showing them like one day like desperate they've tried 50 times they have their head in their hands and then ah oh, eureka i've got it and then they're like yes and then importantly they run across the campus quad with several sheets of paper screaming i did it to very confused onlookers who are like who is this person are who they are, are they a risk and then campus security comes and tases them that's but I'm like do you know what I totally get that energy and I'm like well done you for like getting something and trying to get it to work for you I do kind of think though a primary you shouldn't have to work that hard to I will also say this person far too generous giving it two stars yeah like it's not for its intended, pur intended purpose though what is it actually supposed to be it says just says beauty gel though yeah, so essentially it's meant to be a primer. Yeah. It's one of those really ambiguous products. Like I would look at it and I'd be like, what is this? Is it skincare? Is it like just a multi-purpose mixer? Yeah. The two with the blackboard. Well, we shall we shall investigate. That's okay. what beauty just went. We know it's a beauty thing, but we don't really know what it is as a beauty thing. So we're just just we'll that's it, it. You've got it. We'll just put it as beauty gel. Then the people can decide. <laughs> It is what you make of it. Democracy. <laughs> so this is another sample be beauty one. This is the Erase and Boost Base. Keep says sticky and oily. Doesn't cover anything. Doesn't spread. Makes you oily. And for some reason feels, makes you oily, but for some, or well, makes you oily for some reason, but feels so drying. I don't know why I struggle with that so much. That is weird, but I guess maybe it's like almost like a dimethicone kind of situation. That's what I'm kind of imagining. It's like got that slight tackiness, but it's also like slip. I hate that feel. I swear this product is always on sale. Yeah. It doesn't, none of the shades have got like the best reviews, but. Yeah, because I went through a couple of these and they were all, not like similar, but they were all like, no, I don't like this. Yeah. So, I think, is it supposed to be some kind of like eye primer slash concealer kind of thing or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's meant to be like a concealer and that you can also use it as like a sort of a, like a base for like hyperpigmentation type thing right yeah so it's like cancel out the tones before you put yeah stuff in pop. yeah yeah I mean I I am quite confused about the the difference in the texture that would weird me out I wouldn't know what to do with that no nope. we'll purchase straight away in the morning JK uh, I'm not bad science um yeah and actually speaking of bad science then Sample Beauty also have their brow alchemy eyebrow cream and like the product itself just the look of it kind of annoys me like it feels gimmicky like you know that thing that was going on TikTok which was like the q-tips and then you break them and it they, I'm like well it that, that's wasteful that is bad that is not sustainable the earth is on fire can we not and this also gives me that same energy so instantly mm -hmm. I'm a bit like why, why can you just put this in, like in a nice little pot or something and just you know, I get that it doesn't have the like, oh, look at us, we're cool, we're different, look at our packaging, but it's, it's... But I want to have something that I can recycle, please. Yes. Sustainability. That We like living on, well, I wouldn't go that far, but... Well, well you look, in front of <laughs> Choice. <Yeah. laughs> Although if Jeffrey is allowed to go out into a different planet, actually, no, I don't want to join that planet. He can go on whatever, he can go to another planet and I'll stay here. Just saying. Anyways, we have Ashley who gives it two stars and says, Don't recommend. I nearly broke my finger trying to squeeze it out the tube. I'm really not exaggerating. I had a blister on my finger from pushing so hard to get the tiniest amount. Haven't bother bothered with it again. I'm not trying to break a sweat to have eyebrows. Oof, Jesus. 
And then this next one is by Lily, but she, she felt that it was very important to title her review as Lily. So it's unclear as to whether the review is of her or is it of the product itself. One star, it came really dry and hard to push out, didn't wash off. That sounds like a poo. It does. I mean, and also, maybe she just needed to remind herself of her name. It is hard to remember. Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just got to put it right there where you can see it. But like, I mean, even the first person is saying like they, they hurt themselves in the packaging. I'm like, I kind of would believe that because this is yeah. ridiculous, gimmicky, pointless packaging. Like, yeah. why? Like, look at us. We're so different. Don't, don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah, you don't, like it. If it's not broke, you don't need to fix it. I am broken, but you please don't try and fix me. I'm all, well, I was going to say I'm all right. I'm not. Like, you know, just leave me be in my darkened room and, or come with snacks. Yes. That's acceptable. We'll allow that. This is the Laura Geller Beauty Real Deal Concealer in Medium D. Sarah C says, worst concealer I've ever used. Doesn't cover any blemishes at all. Going back to my usual concealer, concealer, don't waste any money on this. And Katie Hallam says, unimpressed. Empty box arrived, so unable to review actual product. Yes, you are unable to view review this product, and yet here you are. I mean, I would argue you weren't unable. You, you did it. You showed your ability to review. You put it out there. It's, I believe the sentence that you meant to construct was, I shouldn't review this product. You shouldn't, but you're still here. Are you okay? Are you? Are you though? That time of the episode where we ask, are you okay? Another one from Amazon. This time it's a very long title. It's basically just a, a, a makeup brush set by the brand Pro Tetrius. And it's £20.99. And D. Clark, who also has like a thing next to him, like a symbol that says Vine Voice, which I'm like, oh, okay. And this is a recent review because it was done in, in April 2021 and said, not safe at present. What? Brushes aren't safe? What are they? Are they toxic? Are they chemical? Are they, what, 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 what's going on? Like, like, are there daggers? Anyways, they then go on to say, on arrival, these brushes and the they case had a strong chemical stench. By the way, the word stench, not, not used anywhere near enough. So that they could lose it, we left them outside, opened out on our balcony for a week. The odour reduced, but did not clear in that time. My partner has sensitive skin, so she rightfully expressed concern about whether the brushes themselves were actually impregnated with the chemicals and has decided not to take the risk. Impregnated with chemicals. Also, leaving something out on a balcony, they're in the United Kingdom, and that was April. If we cast our minds back to April in the UK, I don't think the weather was that good. No, it wasn't. And also, am I the only one who, after you get new brushes, you wash them before using them? Because of this, especially from Amazon. Like, I have a bunch of brushes from Amazon, like this, the foundation brush that I was talking about. And they're great. I've, I've, had, them, I've had this one for ages, but I wash it before I wash all of them before I use them because just in case like you don't know where they come from or whatever I'm not gonna lie though I read the brand as pro tetanus so I was like yeah I don't think that is safe but it's not tetanus so don't worry kids you don't need to get your tetanus shot we do if if you get bitten by me no if you, if you like get stabbed by a rusty nail or something then you need to get your tetanus shot yeah I I mean it's just it's it's a very weirdly written review and Not why is he person. writing the review for his partner it just reminds me of um what were they i don't remember what peter and judith from come fly with me yeah it's like oh we love this don't we yeah <laughs> it does it has that energy and i'm like it really does, does like your partner know that like you've written this yeah, it's like, it's like, I'm pretty sure if she was really, like, bothered about it, she would have gone on and written it, uh, written it herself. Um, yeah. But also, the impregnated thing makes me just think of Alien, and then yeah. I'm like... And from the brush, bursts out another little brush. Infinite brushes. 
never have to again. Oh my god. This next one, I just looked here and I'm like, okay, this is model in a bottle, sensitive skin, makeup setting spray. <laughs> Alistair Kasoma says, I, the title is, I wanted only one. <laughs> I ordered one. I ordered one, but keep on getting more and more. Please stop as I'm upset. <laughs> When I say I didn't even wet myself, I saw this. accidentally put subscribe and save, and he keeps getting them through the post. It's like when Harry Potter and, and they've all gone away and they keep getting the post because it's like, ah, no post on Sundays, and then it just comes through. It's like, please stop, I'm upset. <laughs> I just, I just, just love this idea that just getting this recurring order and not understanding. <laughs> is like filling up with bottles of this they're like we don't know what to do with this no, we're bit. out of storage we're going to have to put them in the oven it reminds me a little bit of um the father's head episode where mrs doyle has a thing for the milkman and she starts like watering the plants with the milk and she's like oh great you popped over we were running a bit low and she goes in and the fridge is just stacked with milk and i'm like that's, oh, that's what I'm envisioning that's like that they're just they can't move in their house or maybe they're flat because there's just bottles of this everywhere and they're now at a point where they're like I don't know what to do I'm imagining the sensationalized headline though because of the name of this product um person found crushed after after so uh, after millions of models in a bottle of models and bottles are found in his basement and it's like I think you need to revisit that title yeah i just i just love the panic that's emanating please stop um, I'm, I'm upset <laughs> it's brilliant I think this is one of my favorite reviews so far i think this is my favorite and also it just reminds me of how i speak like when when i can't like 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 when i like i'm going kind of like less verbal like veering towards that end like that's how I talk I'll say I'm upset and stuff like that so I just send messages to Michael going I'm upset and it just reminds me of me when I'm doing that I, just, I love this so much this I mean this is oh, this is just this is the peak we can't do any better no this you know? is the end that, that's it we're all going home now we're done with the series we're not actually I'll no. keep doing this as long as the internet exists, I will still keep mining through these places to find these things. Then the next one we have is Wonder Two Lips Makeup Lip Plumping Lip Gloss Clear with Collagen and Hyaluronic Acid for Natural Glossy Plumper Lips Wonder Kits. It's funny, that, that, was, that was a brand that was weirdly around for a period of time that you used they, to see. They did their brow stuff, didn't they? Yeah. No wonder brow isn't it is that yeah, what you're saying it kept, yeah it kept yeah it is and it kept coming up on like facebook like advertising yeah it was one of those like yeah those like i tried all the products that appeared on my youtube recommendations for a week kind of video it's, oh, it's very infomercially yeah yeah definitely yeah and anyways e rawson has put this down as their review be careful one star oh ominous what happened doesn't work for me dot, 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 dot. but be careful as i applied it to myself then kissed my 20 month old grandson after a while and it caused a raised pink lip shade on his little cheek for quite a while which was really worrying it's a plumping lip gloss and you kissed a child with a quite a unexperienced immune system on their cheek what did you think was gonna happen also did you think to maybe like wipe it off while you've done that why would you apply it and then do it it makes it sound like you applied it to 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 give him a kiss on the cheek like yeah i mean i don't 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 understand it like <laughs> Now, I'm not about to tell you how to raise your grandchildren, but also, duh. Like, honestly, like, even, even, even now, sometimes I'll use, like, a plumping gloss, you know, just to be like, oh, let's pretend I have lit, blah, blah, blah. But if Sahim comes near me, I'm like, hold on, I have 
the stingy glass. Yeah. And then he's like, all right. Because consent. Exactly. He, he doesn't he know what he's saying. Consent kiss, but not the tingly tingly. No, no. Mm, well. Mm, the ting, the tingly tingly. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I just have really specific imagery associated with this as well of like a child. Same, and like just not boundaries and just like, like, just like this 20 month old grandson trying to be like, mm. and then this like being like, oh no, give Nanny a kiss. And then just, yeah, it just gives me all of the like lack of respect for personal boundaries. Mm. Thing. Same. This is the 4D silk fiber lash mascara, 4D silk mascara, waterproof, 4D mascara, long lasting, no clumping, no smudging, longer, thicker, black. By the brand Neuronove. Miss Nazia Ramazan said that this ruined my day. My eye, my lenses. One star from me, unfortunately only used once and no matter how careful, I stick got fibers in in my eyes. With contact lenses, this was a disaster and put me in a super bad mood. I prefer the 4D silk mascara to this and it's cheaper too. Well, for Firstly, you know that you're on Amazon because you have the longest possible title for like a product. And like, repeated like, names, thicker. repeated words. Yeah, thicker, longer, bolder, faster. You know, like, okay, what is it? Like a Kanye it's, West song. It's a um, Daft Punk song. Which, you know, fair. Um, I do love that we started off with the drama of ruined my day, my eyes, my lenses. I do feel you shouldn't start big and then go small. No. Like, start small and then go big. unless you're writing an essay because that's acceptable you can start broad yeah and then you can like narrow it down and then you can like broaden it back up like yeah. a little like, hour I feel like we'd have had more suspenseful dramatics if we said ruined my lenses my eyes my day yeah like you that know, works just just a bit more like dramatic impact but like yeah I can imagine if you have like your lenses in and then there's fibers like I've never used any mascara that has, you know, the fibres that makes them longer because I'm just like, anytime I've ever seen them, they look weird and creepy and I'm like, ugh, no. I don't think that fibre mascaras tend to be ophthalmolog ophthalmologically uh, approved. As in, for example, I wear contact lenses every day. I wouldn't wear anything with fibres in it. I wouldn't even use stuff, brow stuff with fibres in it because obviously, you know, they get loose and you get it up and stuck, you know, in your contacts and that can like really mess them up. So I kind of want to know whether this is actually kind of recommended for contact lens wearers because obviously it specifically has to say yeah. whether it's not. And also she says, I prefer the 4D silk mascara to this and it's cheaper too. This is the silk plush mascara, is it not? Yeah. The 4D one? Well apparently there's a lot well I mean it's such a long name maybe there's something that has another word in there that we've missed I mean there is the mascara black 4d silk fiber waterproof eyelash mascara extra long lash mascara and thick long lasting clump free natural smug proof adds volume potentially maybe Let she means that one glamour effortlessly I mean Jesus come up with a new name for your product Please. it's not exactly you know catchy like you know what? What are you wearing your, on your eyes? Oh, actually, I'm wearing. Uh, blah, 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 reads out a thesis. Yeah. Like, no. Or like, or whatever. It's like, it's like, it's like I get more compliments when I wear my 4D silk. Blah, 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 blah. And by the time that you've done that, your mascara has gone off. You time it's time to throw it in the bin because it's nine months later. Anyways, that's it. Uh, you know the drill. Go find Gaia. She's rather lovely. I put on. I'm here. Hello. Yeah. There you go. Go go check her out. I'll put her details down below so you can go and find her. Send her um, the reviews. Send me the reviews. Do whatever you want. It's your life. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not that kind of person. But in saying that, I'm going to completely contradict myself and say, do please like, comment, and subscribe. Do you notice I'm very very good with my manners? My mama taught me well. Uh, do you know turn on notification bells because then you can see more of these things and I'm going to try and do them semi-regularly and aren't, aren't I nice I'm not the worst and do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STG in which case you know wrap it up Don't be and then let them know on LinkedIn exactly if you've watched our previous episodes you know what we're talking about but anyways that's it we're very busy women and we don't have time to return I don't have time Done, done. Very busy. Anyways, 
We're off. Bye. Goodbye.